Customising controls on your rigs is a very simple and easy thing to do. As you go through different characters or different shots or different pieces of anatomy on different characters, you will often find that different kinds of control setup are appropriate in some situations and others in others. You may also find that it's not immediately apparent exactly which control structure is going to be best for a given situation. And what you really want to do is to be able to play around with different options to see which one works best. If you were rigging manually, then this is an awful lot of work to unbuild structures and then rebuild them in different ways. And even in the case where you're rigging in terms of parts and maybe you have an IK type of leg or an FK type of leg, having to remove old parts and attach new ones to try out these different methods is also pretty time consuming. With Rigit, it's nice and easy, and it's done via the Edit Part button here on the Body Builder. So, for instance, we can take the arms here. Whenever you create a pair of arms, they will always, by default, come in as FK. As oftentimes, that's the most commonly desired outcome for arms, but perhaps you want them on IK. You can select any part of the arm control system, click Edit Part, and you will get a control drop-down here. As you can see, in this instance, the options are FK, IK, or IK, FK switching. If I choose IK and click Set Selected, click OK, and we can see that the arms now appear with IK controls. We have an IK goal item there, and we also here have a pole item. Notice that you can do this in either mode. Here I am, of course, in rig mode, but if I go into fitting mode, then I can just select one of the markers that belongs to the part, hit Edit Part, and again, I get the drop down of options here. In this case, for the spine, FK, IK, handles, or spline control. We can choose perhaps spline, hit set selected, click OK. Obviously, here in fitting mode, nothing appears to happen, but when we go back into rig mode, then we see that our spine has been set up with a spline control system, and we can manipulate the spine in this fashion as we see fit using the handle controllers here for the spline object. Let me just quickly add another pair of arms to this rig. Make these a child of the second spine joint in this instance. There we go, this character now has four arms. Obviously, these have come in as FK, like this. We'll just quickly have these set to IK here, so as I can demonstrate this last bit of the way that you edit part. So here I have a bit selected, I'll click on edit part. And you'll see, of course, that I have the set selected or set all option here. If I choose FK and hit set selected, then only this pair of arms or single arm, if I had added a singular item, would be switched to the new control method. Whereas if I hit set all, then after I hit OK, it will not just be this pair of arms here that are set, but the other pair shall also be set. Do note, this isn't some way you have to work, it's just a convenience. If I added, let's say, I don't know, 10 fingers here, which is certainly a lot of fingers to have on one hand, but for the sake of example here, were you to have a situation where you have many items of a particular part type and you were wanting to edit all of their control types, let's say we're making them IK for this instance, then doing repeated set selected on one item at a time, would of course start to get pretty laborious as I have to go through each and every finger making this conversion. As such, it's far easier just to make your selection and do set all, which allows you to make the bulk change on all of these things as you see fit. And there we have it, quick and simple controller editing options for switching any of the parts to the kind of control systems that you want to be able to use for a given part in a given rig.